Welcome back to the channel strip, friends and strippers. You may not like me calling you a stripper, but at the channel strip, what do you do? You channel your energy into learning new things and you strip away the negative misconceptions. So we're back with another video and it is more or less a reflection video on my first video on the series and how to score for animation. And I will be addressing one of the points that I said I would address, which was an issue that I had with my Pro Tools um, session and how everything sort of changed with my timing and with the position of my markers. If you watch that video, you will see that I was very annoyed with the fact that I clicked on a marker and it did not show me what I expected to see. So I'm going to explain in this video the fix to that problem because I want you guys to be able to use markers and to be able to use that information but I'm going to give you the back history of what happened and how I fixed it. So back history to what happened was I had finished the score, been doing it for months. It shouldn't take that long but because I'm new to this whole process it took me a bit longer to you know figure out how I should go about doing this and when I finished I sent it to a friend of mine, shout out to him. He listened and he said listen your timing is off, you have not used a tempo map, you have not used um, you haven't used a tempo map and you haven't used a click track to score your music and it's very obvious the timing's off and you really just have to change what you're doing so I went back and I was like oh effort but it was necessary so I went back and I changed the timing I introduced a click track I started I rescored everything really and made sure that it fit as best as I could to the um, click track but when I finished we had a massive issue sure and the issue being that everything along the timeline had changed. So I'd click on a clip, I click on a marker, it wouldn't give me back what I thought it should give me back. It wouldn't um, show me what I wanted to see and all the timings were wrong. So areas in the video where there was like a tumble and the music was specific to that, that section, everything had moved. So it was a very frustrating experience. So I had to fix it and thanks be to God and thanks be to Reddit for their suggestions. Eventually, I found the fix. I went to Facebook, went to Reddit, eventually found the fix, and I'm gonna be sharing that fix in this video. So that's the back story to the video, and I'm gonna move over now, and I'll move to a screen recording, and I'll show you guys exactly how that was fixed. So listen, they say, and I have the quote here, so I'm gonna read it out to you. The master has failed more times than the beginner has even tried. The whole essence of this channel is to show you guys what I've been finding difficult, and to show you guys how I fixed it through the help of other people as well, of course. And hopefully someone else, you know, going through this process will maybe have the same experience as me. And hopefully we'll, this video will be a nice fix for you. So on we move. Okay, so the fix really is, is, is not hard. It's not complicated, right? Um, you guys can go, hold on. See, this is another thing with Pro Tools that I have to learn. Okay, so I'll just make this smaller here. If I click on punch, right, click on my marker, you can see that my punch actually works. So in the other video when I was explaining the process, the punch was not in the, at the location of the punch. So how was the fix? It's very simple. You see when you enlarge here, okay, I don't know all the right terms for these things, but I had had my Pro Tools here, it was on ticks, so the fix was to change everything to samples, right? And once I changed all of my instruments to samples and all of my see, samples, all of my sound files to samples, everything started to fall back in place. Um, you can also see that I have a tempo map. So the issue is when you create a tempo map and you start changing the timing, everything changes the location of the marker the location of the music it all changes it's, it's very if you don't know this beforehand it's going to be annoying but once you know beforehand and you know that okay you're aware of what's going to happen so change everything to samples and then everything begins to follow the cue then there's also another thing about making sure that your session is following the conductor so i believe the conductor mode so if i went to bring up my transport window, it has to be in the conductor mode. So this guy here, if that's turned off, you see the way my tempo map just disappeared? 
that's what's happened that was that was what was happening to me so once you put back tempo map i mean conductor mode once your conductor mode is back on and you're in your sample um samples instead of ticks you are good to go and everything should follow the right pattern if you don't have that happening you will experience um frustration simple as I have been in contact with someone else who's actually advising me and I'll make another video on this in in months to come to simply just not use tempo maps when you're scoring because should you have to go back and edit everything again the stress of going through this is maybe not worth it so when I figure out not figure out but when I when I score something without using a, a change in my tempo I will do an, an update video and let you guys know how that goes the lessons I learned from that so in summary that's the end of today's video then the main thing is for you to know how to change your your um, session to samples or that how to follow how to make sure your Pro Tools session is following your tempo map using conductor mode so those are really the main points and to just be aware of that because I want you to be able to make good use of everything I said about making sure you can use your um, markers to help you tell a story I actually have an update already on how to use markers even better than just simply using them to you know um, give yourself an emotive story like I did in the first video but I'll address that in a separate video so you guys keep tuning in keeps um, keep uh, leaving a comment tell me what you want to see in the future and I will do my best to get these videos out if it's something that I actually know so thank you again and see you in the next video